Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a spiral knotted dog toy that will end up looking something like this. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is a super simple toy in that you really only need two materials. You just need some old shirts, so you can put those old shirt t-shirts to some good use, and a pair of scissors. I'm gonna be showing you how to make this toy with two colors, so I'm gonna use a white t-shirt and an orange t-shirt. Um, but you can use more than two colors if you'd like. If you use more short material, it would just be thicker. Um, but I'll show you using those two colors. So it'll kind of end up looking like this, but obviously with orange instead of blue. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to take one of the shirts. It doesn't matter what color you start with. And you're going to line up with the bottom. This is like a really, really big old shirt. And then... You're just going to cut off this hem, which is thicker than the rest of the shirt. You don't want to include that into the toy because it'll make those strips thicker. So you're going to use your scissors and just cut that off of both t-shirts. Once you have cut the bottom hemming off of your shirt, you're going to want to just cut a straight line across that is about an inch and a half thick. And you want to cut four strips of each colors. And so there will be eight strips total. And you just want to keep it in that ring that it'll be from cutting right across. You don't want to cut either of the ends. So like I said, you want to get eight strips total, four of each color, and you can go ahead and cut those now. Once you have all of your strips cut from your shirts, which again should be eight, um, and about inch and a half thick, you are going to take one of your strips and find the end hem marking, which normally is a bit thicker than the rest from where it's sewn together. Um, as you can see, it's hemmed right there. That's what it normally looks like. And you're just gonna take your scissors and cut it at this point. So that now, instead of a loop, you now have one long strip. And you're gonna do that to all eight of your things so that you will have eight strips. Next, you're gonna take your strips and you're gonna hold one end and you're just gonna stretch it out, pulling as you go, because shirts stretch a lot. So stretching it beforehand makes it a bit easier so that you don't have to um, tighten the toy quite as much as you're making it. Um, and it also makes it easier to fold the toy over if you do it beforehand so you're not working with this thick, um, thick material. And instead it's much thinner and easier to put together. So you're gonna do that for all of them, just going through. And it's okay if all of your strips aren't exactly the same length. If you used different shirts, different size shirts, that's okay. Um, it won't really make too much of a difference in the end. You'll see when we start doing the toy that my strips aren't exactly the same length either. And that is just fine. The toy will be made just the same. Almost done, just two more. Mm -mm. Okay, now that we have finished that tedious task, you can tell that these are clearly much thinner than the other ones. So we are going to function our strings in groups of two. So you're gonna group them together. So keep two of each color together. So I'm gonna to do two orange, and then I'm gonna line them all up at the top. So I'm gonna line them in my hand so that they're about the same length. Do two white again. I'm lining them at the top with the rest. And then my final strips here. And I'm gonna line them at the top so that they're all, the rest is hanging down in my hand. And then all of them are, are up here at the top. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie a knot. Leaving a bit of space, we don't wanna tie it right on the end. So you're gonna pull it through. Leave a little bit so you can trim it up later. Gonna pull it nice and tight and you can get it even tighter 
by pulling the individual strings because there's always a strand or two that's looser than the rest. So you're just able to tighten up this knot at the end by doing that. So you can tell that it's not going to come undone um, and that you'll be good to go. So now we are actually going to start the braiding portion of it. So like I said, we're going to group them in two. So these two are going to function together the entire time we're braiding. So we're going to put these two over here. We're going to put them in sort of a cross position. And then we're going to put two white strands over here to the left. It's a little hard in the beginning because the strands are so long. Um, but eventually it does get easier as they shorten up. So we're going to put the white across and then the orange down. So you can see that we just have just like this. They're just all across. For the braiding of this tori, you're going to set it up in sort of a cross formation with opposite colors on opposite ends. And you're going to pick a strand to start with. I'm going to start the one that's in my right hand. And what you're going to do is, you, again, with your two strands operating as one, they're going to move together the whole time. Same with the orange, the two are going to move together the whole time. But I'm going to start with this white one, and I'm just going to move it across it right over the one orange strand here. And then I'll, I'm going to go ahead and pull all the leftover over so it doesn't get mixed. And then I'm going to take this. Instead of going over just one, we're going to go over two, the one that was just crossed, and then plus one more. So you always add one that was not crossed. And then same with this white one. We're going to go over the one strand that just moved across, and then plus the one orange strand that was still there. And then I'll show you again. So this just moved across the orange strand that had crossed. And then the orange strand, this is where this orange strand originally started. So now we're going to take this one, this strand, and we are going to put it over the strand that was just crossed. And then there's no other strand here because it was pushed over to this side. So we're going to take this loop, which is the one that we first started with, and widen it a little bit. We're going to go over this this strand that came across and under through the loop. We're going to pull the strand all the way through and then we're going to tighten it up. So it should have this boxy look to it. And we're just going to pull it tight from all strings. Once you got it nice and tight and if it has it should have this box look. If it does not then you did something wrong. So I'll show it again. So we're going to start with this string again, go over the one, just like so. So over that way. And then we're going to take this orange one over the one string that just crossed and over one that has not crossed yet. And then we're going to take this white string over the string that just crossed then over one that has not crossed yet. Move all the leftover. And then we're going to take our final string, right here, this orange one, over the string that we just crossed and under the loop from the first string. Same as we did the first time. Making sure to keep those strips together Then pull it nice and tight. You still want to get that box look at the end and pull it tight again. I'll show it one more time. I'll start from this orange one this time. So we're going to take the orange over one to the right of it. And then this white over one just crossed over one that has not crossed yet. Move all the excess and then take this orange and go over one that just crossed and over one that has not crossed yet and then move all the excess and so we our final part you can see our box almost we just have this white one to go over one that just crossed and then pull out this loop to go under the first one then pull it all through 
and then tighten it on down, still having this box look, and pulling it nice and tight. So now you are just going to repeat this process until you can see it's starting to form. You're going to repeat this process until your toy is as long as you want it or until you strike it into the end of your, your string um, or t-shirt material. And you want to make sure that you still have enough t-shirt material to tie a knot at the end. So once you have reached the point, point where your toy is long enough, you can go ahead and replay this video and we will, I'll show you what to do next. Once your braid has gotten to the length that you want, or if you've run out of material, then you are now able to tie it off to finish it off. I clearly have a lot of extra material, so I'm able to reuse this, um, but it also having more material makes it easier to tie. So you just take it and you just tie, wrap around your hand, and then pull through. And you wanna get it nice and close to the braid itself. So you don't wanna tie it way up, you wanna tie it nice and close to where the braid ended. Once you know it's in a good spot, you can do the same thing we did with the first knot and pull each individual string to tighten it. Again, to make sure that your dog is not able to undo it. And so that it all looks uniform. So there we go. Now what we gotta do is take our scissors and cut each end and get the leftover strings are as long as we would like them. And then I'm gonna go back to this end and trim this up because I left so much extra. And also so I'm able to cut those hem pieces off because we don't want those on the toy. You can double check, make sure it's how you want it. And then you are officially done with your toy. Um, and you can, if you chose to make it longer, you're able to put different knots and stuff in it. If it's skinnier, like this is a version of a real skinny one of it, cause I didn't double the strands, but I was able to put a knot in it, which was nice. And then here's a version where it was just long and thick. So I tie it together in a nice little circle. Um, so there's all sorts of different things you can do to enhance this toy or you can leave it like this. I know my dog personally loves it just like this as well. But now you know how to do the spiral square knot dog toy. Thank you for watching.